I'm really happy today to be interviewing Nikki Griffin, who's our second Look Fabulous Forever ambassador. In 2014, Nikki was standing in a queue at the bank when she was approached by someone called Jane Maylard, who runs a company called White Hot Hair. Jane needed models for a photo shoot that she was running the following week and asked Nikki if she would like to come along. At that time, Nikki was at home, running a business, very happily, with twin daughters who were about to go off to university. And she really felt that she needed a new challenge. She went along to the photo shoot and that was the start of what has turned out to be an exciting and amazing modelling career, which she's now going to tell us all about. So Nikki, you're relatively new to the world of modelling. How have you found it? Tell me about the best aspects and maybe the worst aspects. Well, I've, I've been really lucky because I've found it really, really fun. I've done wonderful things. I've never had any bad experiences. So um, I'm just continuing to meet wonderful people, creative people, and just enjoying it, really. What would you say has been your most exciting experience since you started modelling? Well, that's easy because the most exciting thing that's happened to me is um, I've appeared in Sports Illustrated magazine as the oldest model in the world. Um, and when that happened and I went over to America, I had no idea that this magazine was so famous. So I was asked for my autograph, which just was hilarious. Um, I've had people pay the bill in restaurants for me. Um, I've been on all the TV stations. Um, I've been scurried through Fox News like some sort of megastar. Um, amazing things have happened to me. Amazing. So, Would you say that there are more opportunities opening up for models now and why would that be? Yes, I do. Thankfully, at last, slowly, we're getting there. I think people are starting to realise that, you know, women of my age can be in big campaigns. We can represent big companies. Um, we look good. We're, we're not over the hill. You know, just because you're in your 50s and your 60s and your 70s, you know, you can still look fabulous and um, young, fit, healthy. So, yes. You're a UK size 14, so has there been any pressure at all on you to lose weight? No, there's been no pressure on me to lose weight. I've been booked for a job as, as I am, whether I'm a size 14, I have been a size 16, um, and I'm booked as a mature model, classic model, and um, size has never come into it. And how would you say you feel about your body as you're getting older? There's certain things I don't like, and there's lots of things I don't mind at all. So the things I don't like is waking up when I've got a moustache growing and a beard. And this happens overnight, I don't know how that... That's annoying. Um, having bingo wings is a bit disappointing because I used to like to wear. So other than that, um, cellulite I've always had. Um, not, not that many changes. I, I, I'm embracing them, actually. I don't, I'm not frightened of wrinkles. I think they're fine. So I'm not really that, that worried or frightened. All that matters to me is I feel well. I've, I'm healthy and I'm enjoying every day. That's really my main focus. And what do you actually do to stay in shape from the point of view of food and exercise, things like that? Has that changed since you started modelling? Well, I've always been pretty good. I... I walk my dog every day because he, he needs it and he wants it, so that's great. I clean my house, I love cleaning my house, so that's a real good exercise. And I swim. And last year I took up Zumba because my daughters were doing Zumba, my nieces were doing Zumba, so we're all doing Zumba together. But for me, it was a way of being with them and them laughing at me, could I keep up? And I did. So, and then we all got, so that was great fun. So we, we have a, I have a healthy lifestyle, I'm active and I'm not interested in the gym particularly because I find that's a bit, oh, not for me, but I like to keep busy. So I think that's, that's enough. You have absolutely beautiful hair. Tell us about when you started to go grey and have you ever been tempted to dye it? Well, I started to go grey when I was 42, so it was a long time ago because I'm now 56. So when I was going grey, there was no help for me out there. There was no Facebook people, there was no one, no support. So I had a very hard three years transition from black hair to white grey hair. So um, it was, I had a horrible time and 
I was never tempted to dye it because I simply couldn't go back to the harshness that that dyed hair gave me. It, it didn't go with my skin tone and I knew I would never go back because I could only go forward. So then one day this woman said to me in this tea shop, you've got lovely hair and I thought she's actually talking to me. Uh, when I went home and looked at it, I thought, I think it is quite nice. So then I concentrated. I forgot the colour because that, it's going to be whatever it's going to be. So I concentrated on conditioning it and keeping it really healthy. And then, as, it, as, that, as time went on, I really liked it. So I would never go back and I never thought of that. We know from some of the comments that we get on Facebook that long hair like yours is a big no-no for a lot of older women. What would you say to women who would criticise you for, for having such beautiful, long, lustrous locks at your age? Well, I would say, you know, I think everyone's got to do what they want to do. I wanted to have it longer. I've always had it longer. It makes me happy. It makes me who I am. So I can't cut it off to please somebody else. But I don't really care if someone likes it or doesn't like it. I don't really care. I, I'm happy with my hair as it is. So say what you like. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, and people do say, you know, when you get older, you should cut it off. But I personally think I know what suits me. Do you have a daily beauty regime? Uh, tell us a little bit about how you look after your skin. I do, actually. I do really try to take care. I, um, I, make, I always take my makeup off. I always cleanse and tone. I always take care because I think I have to. Um, and I enjoy it too. I, I like my routine of cleansing and toning and I like all my potions. So uh, that really, I really like that. So I do take care. I drink lots of water, but I think the most important thing for me is sun, sunblock. Put, I wear that every day and I, I live by my sunblock. And finally, Nikki, tell us a little bit about the Look Fabulous Forever products that you particularly like wearing. Well, I like the foundation because I feel it makes me look really fresh. And I love that look of not heavy makeup, just a light, fresh. And I like the lipsticks. I think they're really vibrant and seem to suit my complexion. So I'm really happy with those. Mm -hmm.